throughout the filming of this, I had a cold sore breakout. You can still see like the texture around my mouth. It's really annoying and it's really ugly. I'm super sorry about that. Just focus on the stationery. Okay guys, I'm back with a haul. So what I picked up today, and this is what I got in the mail just now. I should be set for the next two years because I bought like so much. I stocked up on like everything. Brown folders. I think they're so cute. They look really minimalistic. There's a lot of space. Is it broken? Did I legit break this? Fit so much paper in this one. Cause like, it's like a stack. This is what we have. It kind of reminds me of Muji. I don't have a Muji here, so can't buy actual Muji folders. Again from Hera and like, they're literally so cute. Oh my God. So this is my lined paper. I needed lined and squared paper. Those are the two, and I always get college blocks because they look nice. There's a lot of paper in them. I can also add them into my folders, and like, it's just super useful to have these. I love college blocks. I'm gonna use my key. Each pack has three, and I was thinking, should I just get one pack? But then I panicked, and I told the girl, like, I'm gonna take two. So now I have six notebooks. Da -da -da. Six college blocks. I'm so smart. Wow. I'm like reconsidering my life. Should I have gotten this many? Maybe not. Maybe not. Overall, I'm so satisfied with these. These are like the perfect notebooks. Um, I'm so glad I found this store. I didn't even know how much existed. Like I just kind of walked into it one day randomly and now I'm in love with like all their stationery. And the thing is also, I use um, digital notes a lot more these days, so not really sure why I got so much paper, but so I got these. These are like my go-to. I love it. I've been using these for so long. They have the, the, the literal best paper, super thick, good quality paper. The only thing that bothers me is that like the, there's a logo on the corner of the paper which kind of ruins the aesthetics for me. It's okay, I forgive them because like it's just really cute. One of each is like three euros. A little bit expensive. Pink notebooks? Oh my gosh. I'm literally so happy with what I got this year. I got some sticker labels. You'll see later what I use these for. Amazon package. This is school supplies as well. So these are dividers and I love this brand. Um, there's 50 of them, which is plenty. I used to get like small packs of 10 every year and I was just annoying to go out to buy them all the time. So I was like, I'm gonna bulk buy from Amazon. I love the color. It's like cream and it looks really minimalistic. I just don't like the fact that it has like this huge logo on top. I got these. Oh shit, I kinda don't like them. The lines are blue. That bothers me. I don't like blue lines. It's redeemable because they're pink. I use flashcards all the time until I started using Notion, but I still need flashcards for like mathematical subjects because I can't write like formulas on Notion. Hold on, I got it. That's it. Really cute. Okay, you know what? It's okay. I accept the fact that the lines are blue because like how cute is this? Overall, 10 out of 10. Very satisfied with what I got this year for school. I have a whole organization system in place. Like I know how I'm gonna do this. Wait, I'm gonna explain the organization system. Again, as I said, six subjects. The three big folders are for my three main subjects because I tend to get more paper in the main subjects. Business, econ, and physics are my secondary. Even though business is technically a higher level, I don't think I'm gonna get too much paper in that. For all my class notes, I'm gonna use the paper, the college blocks that I got. For English and German, those are obviously gonna be on lined paper. For math and physics, it's gonna be squared paper. Business and econ, probably just gonna use Notion. Within each of the folders, I'll have divider, which I will label with the sticky notes that you saw. And the amount of dividers and how I section each of those depends on the amount of topics in each subject. Okay, so for English, I'll have 10 dividers. Nine of them are for the nine works that we'll be reading and another extra divider for test plans and for organizational stuff. For German, I'll have seven dividers, six for the topics that I have and one again for like administrative stuff. Math, I'll have seven dividers, six for topics and one for the tests and administrative stuff. So for each subject, I'll just have as many dividers as I need for the amount of topics, books that I'll read, because for English I'll read books and for all the other subjects it'll just be 
chapters and then I'll also have an additional divider for everything where I can keep test plans and the curriculum assessment plans. Also for my main subjects, I actually have a little plastic pocket that I got from Muji a while ago, but I keep all my flashcards in there. Now I just have to go cut and label all the dividers and put some of my pre-existing notes in, and then I'll be set for the school year. Hi! I got a package sent from Stationery Pal. All of the pens that I have are from Stationery Pal. Like every single one of them you can find on Stationery Pal and I've been like buying from them for a long time. I actually love their website. They have so so many different kinds of stationery. They have all like the known brands. You can find all the different new releases of pens as well. They just have so much. Ah! The Packaging is so cute. Like, look at this. It's literally, there's hearts on it. Also, I got some, like, extras. That's really cute. There's these little clips from Sanrio, and they got, they were gifted. I don't, I don't, I didn't buy these. They're really cute. First up, I got a couple of pens. This is my go-to writing pen. I've mentioned it in so many videos because I just absolutely adore this pen. It's the Pentel Energel. I found it on their website. It was the Hello Kitty limited edition one. They have so many of the Sanrio characters and just new releases, different collabs of pen brands that you wouldn't be able to find in regular stores. I'm gonna switch to writing with this pen. This is such a cute design. I got two like Pentel collabs. I have this one with Cinema Roll. Again, as I said, they have like all the Sanrio characters. I got another pen. This is, I think, a ballpoint pen, but I thought this was really cool because it has like the three colors. Again, the pen body is absolutely adorable. It has all the Sanrio characters. It's so freaking cute. This is not a stationary item. I got a Hello Kitty band-aid. I'm gonna struggle. This is adorable. I'm gonna be using this for sure. This is- I think they changed the packaging. That's a bit odd. Because I remember they had a different one. Um, I've been collecting the Zebra Click Art pens. They are basically just felt tip pens. The design is really cool because like it's a clicky pen instead of just a regular one with a cap. And this is the dark colored set. I have the other color sets as well. So this is completing my collection. I also got a little pen cup. This is the most exciting thing. And I've only ever had the black one. Now I've got the entire set. So, so excited about all the different colors. I cannot recommend this pen enough. It's the best ink I've ever written with. I'm so excited. Um, what did I just ran over bubble wrap. Definitely 100% check out Stationery Pal. So many of you guys always ask me where I get my stationery from and everything is always from there. Back to school sales, they have different sales and deals all the freaking time. Prices are amazing, they have such a huge selection. I'm not saying this because they send me free stuff, but it's like genuinely, they're probably the best stationery website. That's all my old stuff. Here are my old folders. So I have to get rid of this. There's a permanent marker, I have to get it off with acetone. I have to take all the stickers off now. Now they're all naked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's my scissor? I was cutting out the dividers. Each subject had a different amount that they needed. And then I would put the stickers of all the topics on. I got all the labels. These are the subjects and those are the topics. Here are all of the dividers and I'll just go subject by subject. I'll put them on here. This is the subject sticker which I'm gonna put. Oh my goodness. This is so perfect. I love this sticker. It literally fits perfect. But I also have to find all the topics for each subject. So I'll have to go through the syllabus and some textbooks. And then I put on all the sticker labels onto the dividers, which was really satisfying. That doesn't make sense. Mission accomplished. I'm really happy with how they looked like at the end. Here you can see like the different subjects and the different topics. If you like pause, you can read everything as well. I have officially labeled and organized. 
organized most of the supplies. So I got the folders labeled, the clear ones as well. I have the dividers. I've got the notebooks for each of the subjects labeled, all of these labeled. And now I just have to put them together along with the worksheets that I already have. I got all of the supplies, so now I'm just like packing the things together into packets for each subject. Getting the matching folder with the matching inside, finding the matching worksheet. I just decorated it with a ribbon. Kind of cute. This is how everything looks like put together in school. We all have like these boxes for our school supplies. So this is how mine looks like. It's pretty organized and it's also easy to find everything when I need it for class. So pretty happy with how it came out. It's the next day and I actually just cleaned my desk, but I'm kind of debating whether I should use this as my physics notes or if I should use these because I literally have so many of these Muji notebooks and they would be perfect for physics. I already started last year using these, but it's just, I'm not sure if it's like practical. I'm filming the outro in one clip because I'm lazy. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support as always. I actually have so many ideas right now, like so, so many video ideas, so many things I have filmed already. I have so much footage as well. I just don't have enough time to edit all of it. I really wish I could just edit every single day and like produce so much content, but I can't because of school, like there's no way. Um, even getting out one video per week is getting really difficult with the amount of work I have. I know a lot of people request like different video ideas and I'm like, I want to do those videos videos too like trust me I would but I just don't have the time to and I'm like trying my best to like catch up on everything thank you for the support as always bye bye